Hello everybody and welcome to Celex's webinar on thrombosis, platelet adhesion and aggregation under shear flow. My name is Dmitry Kashanin, I'm CTO of Celex Limited and I'm glad you could join us today. I'm going to start with an uh, introduction of Vina 8 Pluraplus biochips and Vinaflux platform and then proceed to today's application of uh, Vinaflux platform in thrombosis and in particular whole blood flow assays. And I will give you a quick summary. Celex's Venaflux platform uh, allows to mimic venous and arterial flow and uh, in real time visualize cell rolling, cell adhesion and cell migration under continuous shear stress. Similar to intravital microscopy, you can observe uh, cells within the microcapillaries and the uh, researcher are allowed to perform a functional cell assay where activation of cells can be observed in real time and uh, measured. One of the families uh, of Vina8 biochips, Vina8 Pluroplast biochip, which has eight microchannels in dimension of uh, 400 micron wide by 100 micrometer deep, and this biochip is particularly suited for studying platelet adhesion aggregation and thrombosis. As features of biochips, you can refer to improved optical clarity of this biochip, bright field phase fluorescent uh, microscopy. Uh, it can be also used with high magnification um, objectives, 60x to 100x and oil immersion objectives. This biochip has very low fluorescent background and plastic matching refractive index of glass. In applications, it can be used for immunostaining of cells, confocal microscopy, or single cell or platelet analysis. To manipulate liquids to pump uh, cells and whole blood within the microchannels of biochips, we recommend Myrus Nano Pump, which is ultra precision pump covers a range of different shear stresses from very low vascular shear stress to high arterial shear stress. It also can perfuse several channels up to eight in parallel. It has reversible flow direction and uh, fully computer controlled. Uh, during the assay they have images uh, of uh, adherent platelets and aggregated platelets are taken which can be subsequently uh, analyzed by analysis program. In this case we recommend Image Pro Analyzer from Media Cybernetics. It can detect uh, aggregates and cells from fluorescent images and uh, count cells, uh, uh, tell information about diameter, form factor, polarization of cells and aggregates. You can also uh, sort the cells and aggregates and um, you can, uh, it can provide information on fluorescent intensity of specific aggregate. On the uh, Celex's platform allows to uh, observe uh, all three major players in thrombosis. Interaction with von Willebrand factor, interaction with uh, exposed collagen at the site of uh, injured endothelium, and uh, interaction of fibrinogen receptors. At the site of damaged endothelium, there is a, a collagen being exposed, which allows the binding of von Willebrand factor. Um, once the von Willebrand factor is bound, the platelets can um, interact with it uh, via the glycoprotein 1B receptors, and uh, the platelets start to roll on the uh, von Willebrand factor. At the same time, the exposed co collagen triggers the interaction with uh, platelet receptor GP1A, GP2A. Um, and also the third factor which influences the platelet aggregation is uh, interaction of fibrinogen receptors, which is GP2B and GP3A, which allows to bind platelets to platelets. For thrombosis experiments, uh, Vina8 Fluoroplast biochips were coated with 10 microliters of uh, specific ligand, collagen, fibrinogen, or von Willebrand factor, 
and then the biochip was stored overnight at uh, 4 degrees. 30 minutes prior to experiment, uh, the channels of biochips were blocked with BSA to avoid non-specific adhesion. To execute flow experiment, the minus pump was filled with a physiological buffer and then connector of the pump was uh, wetted and inserted into biochip. Following uh, this uh, in the second step, uh, the biochip was washed at the uh, low shear stress and uh, the, un the unbound ligand was uh, therefore removed. After that, in step number three, the sample was placed into Eppendorf and the uh, uh, shear flow uh, established uh, by pulling the sample through the biochip into the pump. Um, during the assay, during the flow of whole blood, the um, several images were taken from different positions of biochip. Typically we would take up to seven uh, different positions along the channel and then one video which takes the time lapse of the uh, platelet aggregation from time point zero up to five minutes. This movie shows the example of aggregation of um, platelets on uh, fibrillar collagen. And in this case, the, uh, the shear stress was uh, set at 90 dynes per square centimeter, and uh, this experiment would take two minutes. As you can see, there is uh, quite a number of big aggregates, which consist of several platelets. We analyzed this in Image Pro Analyzer and uh, displayed this uh, data taking into account two parameters. First of all, it's a surface coverage of all the aggregates and then the number of aggregates. As you can see in control sample where uh, the blood was not treated with anything, there's quite a number of um, big aggregates. So in this case, the surface coverage is quite, quite big but the number of aggregates is quite small. If uh, one use uh, the um, real pro inhibitor, which is GP2B3A inhibitor, uh, the, uh, the picture is uh, completely changed. Uh, you can see that there is quite a lot of small aggregates and single platelets, but, uh, but they cover a very, very small area. So, first of all, the, the area of coverage is reduced, which is shown by this orange graph, but we have increased number of objects. In the case of aspirin, you can see slightly different uh, image where there is still quite a lot of coverage of b by the aggregates, but the, uh, the over overall number of objects is increased. And this is also proven by, by, if you look at the mean object area. In the case of non-treated sample, the control sample has a quite big object uh, mean area. In the case of Rio Pro, you have only single platelets or several platelets attached together. In the case of Fasperin, the number of uh, the, the area of individual aggregates is reduced. We had also had a look at, at a comparison of control samples against the Rio Pro, Aspirin, Conglero, and the anti GP1B antibody, uh, which is uh, all show the familiar um, effects, which is proven in the literature. As for Rio Pro, you can only see the single platelets, object size increases, object number is increases, and sizes. Uh, decreasing. In the case um, of anti-GP1B antibody, you can see both the uh, the surface coverage decreasing and object sizes decreasing. In the case of aspirin, you have increased object number, but the size is decreased. We also compared uh, different pathways of uh, platelet recruitments to. Um, both to von Willebrand factor and collagen 
uh, as you can see we perfuse the whole blood at uh, on collagen and on Willebrand factor uh, at 60 dynes per square centimeters and this is the second one of this experiment and this is two minute time lapse so as you can see on the one Willebrand factor you mainly have single platelets or small aggregation and on collagen you have a big aggregates but very small number of these aggregates. Also we looked at inhibition of uh, platelet adhesion on fibrinogen and in this case we started with low shear stress at 8 dynes per square centimeter for 2 minutes and then increase it to 32 dynes per square centimeters and perfuse the sample for 4 minutes in total. As you can see if you don't treat uh, whole blood with um, RioPro as a control sample it uh, results in adhesion of um, platelets at higher shear stress and if the um, blood is treated by RioPro 10 microgram per milliliter you practically have no platelet adhesion from that sample. In summary, Vinaflux platform mimics in vivo shear flow microenvironment unlike any other in vitro assay. Uh, uh, researchers are able to assess uh, leukocyte and platelet adhesion and chemokine stimulation and the TLL activation under shear flow. It's uh, robust and easy to use. You can easily coat uh, biochips with a range of different uh, proteins or um, also culture cells on the chip. Um, and the result of experiments with V8 and V8 Fluoroplast biochips are reproducible and validated. The system is very flexible. It, uh, it requires only microliter volumes of whole blood or different uh, cell suspensions to execute the assay and it can be used with uh, quite wide range of shear stresses from uh, venous to arterial shear stresses. Thank you for your attention.